Good evening. Welcome to the Swedish news. My name is Charlotte and I am uh, terribly attractive so that you won't get the idea that I would ever lie to you. I will never do that. Truth is so important to us here on Swedish news. And now I'm going to tell you a story which has to do with truth. There is a children's book writer, Katarina Janusz is her name. She is also a Swedish citizen. And she did an interview in the Czech Republic where she talked about Sweden. The nerve of this woman. And she made Sweden look bad. So, just to uh, get to the bottom of it, we did fact-checking. We fact-checked the whole interview. Lots of people were involved, many hours we spent on this, and we published the whole fact-checking document on our website. It's 315 pages long. And of course, we found that she has been exaggerating details about the Swedish situ situation. Yes. And now we're going to talk about Ylva Johansson. Uh, she's a minister in the Swedish government. She's a social democrat, a former communist, and of course, she's a feminist. Yes. She's doing a wonderful job and she did an interview recently with this wonderful broadcasting company BBC of Great Britain and they asked her wonderful questions about Sweden and they asked about this, the women. Uh, are there any raping going on in Sweden? How, what's the situation? And she really told them. She told them that sexual assaults and rape, it's going down, and it's going down, and it's going down. She really told them. She did a wonderful... Hold on. Um, okay, we're not going to talk about this story anymore. There is no need to fact-check Ylva Johansson. She's a representative of the Swedish government and the Swedish people. Yes, elected and the feminist. Yes, so what she's been saying in a BBC interview uh, is not that important. It's not necessary to do any fact-checking. However, we did fact-checking on Mr. Donald Trump. He's the American president representing America. And he had the nerve to talk about Sweden and he exaggerated the situation. The fact-checking document is on our website. <laughs> yes, we spent hours <laughs> on this. Yes. Uh, now let's talk about Malmö. There is, uh, there are some rumors about Malmö being a dangerous town. It's a town in the south of Sweden, and. It's mainly popul it's only populists who talk about Malmö in this way. They never focus on the positive aspects of Malmö. No, no. Uh, hold on a bit. Okay, so Malmö, uh, there is a murder index in Malmö at 3.4, which means in 100,000 citizens, 3.4 are killed every year. And this may sound a lot, but if you compare it to, for instance, uh, Chicago, it's not very high. <laughs> yes, and why do we focus on the bad things all the time? I mean, look at all these people that are not yet killed. <laughs> I'm sure they are happily living their lives in Malmö. It's a paradise, okay? And, hold on. Yes, yes. Malmö is not the most dangerous city in the world. The only populists speak like this. 
they exaggerate us. And that's all for the news for tonight. Good evening. <laughs>